Hi guys. Wow. So overnight, the PlayStation experience kicked off in the States and my Twitter feed when I woke up this morning was going nuts. It was an absolute explosion of information. Another one of those infoplosions, if you like. And Bungie presented uh, its first kind of glimpse at what was going to happen next in Destiny. We saw what is going to happen with its winter update, which it has called The Dawning. The Dawning is a three-week experience or event that will run from December the 13th, so from reset December 13th, through to January the 3rd. Each day in this event we will be given a gift box, so another lot of treasures. A bit like the Festival of the Lost Treasures and the Radiant Treasures, the Sterling Treasures we used to get in the Postmaster every week. Every day for this event, we will get a treasure for the Dawning event. And these treasures will hold new consumable items, new emotes, all kinds of different things. Now, I don't have all the details on what's going to be in these treasures yet, Hopefully that information will come to light in the next few days as PlayStation Experience continues. But what I can tell you is one thing we knew already was that SRL was coming back. And with it, we're seeing two new maps. Now, I don't know if that means we're only going to get those two maps or if we'll get the two existing maps that we had last time SRL was around. But there are two new maps. One of them is on Mercury and one of them is in the Plaguelands. And I've got some screenshots here from a trailer that they showed. And as we go through this, we will see little clips of the trailer and hints and things that we've been able to extract. So I'm going to go through this, but we are going to see these maps. Now, some of this stuff has been posted on Twitter. Some of it has been posted by Bungie employees. Some of it has been extracted from the trailer which you can see I've got a link to it in the description below. <laughs> I mean, this is just super exciting for people who are such big Destiny fans because for me, Destiny has been starting to wane a little bit. I've seen people moving away from it, which has been sad, and hopefully this will see them come back because some of these changes are really, really cool changes. Now, what we are going to see here is on top of these new two, two new maps and SRL coming back, we're now going to see an update with different strikes. Now, strikes that are returning include the Nexus, which people have been asking for, including me, for so long. Now, it's not just coming back and adding to the playlist, but it's been updated. Secreon, the Nexus Mind now looks a lot more like the Templar. He's got a shield all the way around him, and you use the Aegis Relic from Vault of Glass, presumably to drop his shield so that you can actually do damage. Now, that, I think, is a cool mechanic that has been added. On top of that, we've got a Seaver-fied Tanix, or Shadow Thief Strike, and also we've got an updated Will of Crota, or Omnigal Strike, that we've seen. Now, there could be more, but this is what we've been able to extract from the preview trailer, which, I mean, those three by themselves are pretty impressive. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how they've been adapted, changed, and how the mechanics are modified so that we can do some other stuff. Now, coupled with all this, we're seeing a new feature. This new feature has been intro introduced is strike scoring. Now, strike scoring is going to be based on some bounties or quests that we'll get from Zavala. It works a bit like, from what we can gather, the same way Prison of Elders and Challenge of Elders particularly works with Varix and the things that he gives you. Varix at the moment gives you bonuses for specific killing methods, like grenade kill bonus, precision kill bonus, that sort of stuff. I suspect Zavala will be similar. Now, in some of these clips and some of these screenshots, we can see that there are explosion streak bonuses and explosion bonuses and kill streak bonuses, that sort of thing. So we've already got modifiers in Heroic Strikes. I suspect that this isn't going to be a new playlist, but rather it will be something added as part of a quest line or bounty line that we get from Commander Zavala, the Titan Vanguard, and that we apply to Heroic Strikes and the Nightfall. I've gathered some information from various sources, and the Nightfall bounty, there will be one, uh, Zavala is going to have, will return the chance for you to get an old favourite, the Icebreaker. The Icebreaker is coming back, and it's coming back with 
ornaments. Here they are. I don't know the names of them yet, I'm sorry, but we can see these two ornaments and they kind of look, I mean, well, th that white bony one looks really cool. So speaking of ornaments, Red Death, Last Word, Black Spindle, they're all getting their ornaments as well. We've already seen the Red Death ornaments, but now we know that Spindle's getting these ornaments, which are pretty cool. And the Last Word is getting these. Now, I don't have great shots of all of them, but you can see these. Uh, I had hoped that Last Word would be a little bit more flamboyant or something, but, uh, you know, that, that, that Taken version of the Spindle, that looks great. I'm really excited to see that from a gameplay perspective, just for the pure aesthetic of it, but also from the lore side of things and how that intertwines with what we already know. On top of this, yes, we're getting new armor. We're getting new weapons. So here's some shots of new armor. These look pretty cool. I'm assuming that they'll drop from the strikes and also from things like the treasures. I, I just don't know what's in those treasures yet. But the new weapons include some of those hidden exotics that we've been seen, seeing thrown around, like the Void version of the Thunderlord and the Solar version of the Thunderlord. The Void Lord and let's call it the Fire Lord, Solar Lord. So they're coming, which is super, super exciting. That means the only one that's missing now is Dubious Volley, and we all know that the Dubious Volley looks exactly like Kovic's weapon from the Wretched Eye Strike. So I'm waiting to see how we uncover that and when that's going to be introduced into the game, if it doesn't already exist in-game and we just haven't found it yet. So what I want to let you know here at this point is that SRL is going to be a permanent fixture in Destiny after the Dawning event finishes. Unfortunately, it will only be in private matches and won't be in any kind of competitive playlist in any other way. So you won't be able to go to your Crucible director, destination director, and choose it as a competitive playlist item so that you can get other rewards. That's a kind of a downer, but the fact that it's going to be included in private matches is at least a huge step in the right direction, in my opinion. I don't know why SRL hasn't been included from, well, at least last time they introduced SRL. On top of that, strike scoring is not an event exclusive thing. It is going to be ongoing. Zavala is now permanently going to be giving out these quests and these things, like Varix does with Challenge of Elders and the bounties that he has. We're going to see them from Zavala permanently, uh, so it's an ongoing feature, which is going to spice up strikes and give those people who have basically done everything something else to do, at least until we see the next event, which, who knows, will that be another version of Crimson Days? Are we going to see another Valentine's Day type thing with a couple of weeks of, say, Crimson Doubles again. I really enjoyed that. I see doubles every now and then it comes up on the Crucible playlist, so I'd be keen to see that as an event. Let me know what you think about these new features. Whack them in the comments below. I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts on them. I hope you got something out of this video, Guardians. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and on Twitch from time to time. Regular updates on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, I'll be posting as much information as I can find uh, and retweeting other information as well. So if you want to stay up to date, please follow me on those two platforms. And thanks for watching, Guardians. I'll see you next time.